In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ from the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Dear friends, during this Mass, we like to remember and pray for the following intentions. In the coming days, we shall offer and pray especially for the spiritual success of the youth retreat we have next week, 7th and 8th. We also remember and pray for Grace and Mary, Virginia Bra, Karen Michelle. They celebrate their birthdays. We remember and pray and ask God's grace and blessings on them. We pray for the good health of Vanaibor, Karluki, Evalin, Siendli. We pray for God's touching and His healing on them. We remember the departed souls of Mildred, Hosemud, Peter, Hosemud, Paul, Disagree, Lingto, Albert, Vishadab, Philip, Hosemud, Annabel, Diento, Raymond Diento, Fabian Shamshu, David Tib, So, Michael Lingto, Maulong, and Albinus, Mokhu, Stanislaus, Mokhu, Fori, Fanken, William Wallam, Lambert Bla, Lacon Bla, Cantida L. Marshallon. Let's also bring all other intentions that we have. Today we have a great saint, Saint Martin de Porras, a 16th century saint, someone who lived humble but holy and found favor with the Lord. The Gospel of today is an invitation. What is our response? What replaces God and His invitation very often? Maybe things that in our life occupy than turning to the Lord. Things may be good, but not better than the Lord. Let's give our life, listen to his invitation and answer yes to him so that we may be one of mind and heart of Christ. For the times we have failed, for the times we have ignored his invitation, we turn to the Lord asking pardon. Trusting in His mercy, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Porras by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. Have this mind among yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the Tony Cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the God, glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here is God. 
Hear my praise, O Lord, in the great assembly. My vows I will pay before those who fear the Lord. The poor shall eat and shall have their fill. They shall praise the Lord, those who seek Him. May their hearts live forever. You are my All the earth shall remember and return to the Lord. All families of the nations worship before Him, for the kingdom is the Lord's. He is the ruler of the nations. They shall worship Him, all the mighty of the earth. You are my voice, O God, of the great And my soul shall live for Him. My children serve Him. They shall tell of the Lord to the generations yet to come. Declare His faithfulness to peoples yet unborn. These things the Lord has done. You are my praise, O God. Gospel Affirmation Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 14 verses 15 to 24. One of those gathered around the table said to Jesus, Happy the one who will be at the feast of the kingdom of God. But Jesus said to him, There was a man who gave a great banquet, and he invited a large number of people. When the time came for the banquet, he sent his servants to say to those who had been invited, Come along, everything is ready. But all alike started to make excuses. The first said, I have bought a piece of land and must go and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am on my way to try them out. Please accept my apology. Yet another, I have just got married, and so I am unable to come. The servant returned and reported this to the master, and the householder, in a rage, said to his servant, Go out into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor, crippled, the blind, and the lame. Sir, said the servant, your orders have been carried out, and there is still room. Then the master said to his servant, Go to the open roads and to the head grounds and force people to come in to make sure my house is full because I tell you not one of those who were invited shall have a taste of my banquet. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, what are the excuses that sometimes we put to the Lord? Sometimes very good, maybe like this person, no one buys a land without having looked at it. No? Or an oxen, or sometimes one was, he has to take his wife out. Sometimes the excuses that we put before the Lord, to the Lord, are good, but they are not better than the Lord, and that is invitation. To give God his fire place in our life. And I'm sure we have all failed. We want to return to him. And to do that, the first reading puts it very short, very nice. To have the mind and heart of Christ. Now this is one of the central theme of Paul whenever he writes. You know, to live like Christ. And in fact the entire salvation story is put in small words in chapter 2 of Philippians. You know? God who was great came down, became one like us, did not sin, died. And that is the victory of humility and heart and mind of Christ. Each one is called to be like. 
Now today we remember a great saint, Martin de Porres, a 16th century saint, someone who lived so. He was from Peru, Lima. Interesting when you look in his baptism register, it is said what is written is Father Unknown. Reason? His father was actually a knight from Spain, married to a slave girl from Panama and in Peru. So because of his background that is what is written you know, in a way we want to call it in modern terms an illegitimate but his father of course left them later came back cared but his father was very really caring to Martin and his sister to all them sent them for good education so he learned what is uh, as a barber he was trained then also into healing of diseases small and later he joined the Dominican congregation and became a brother, what is called a lay brother, not a priest. And he was put in charge of this, giving haircut to the other religious, looking after the sick, caring for those sick. And he found so much of happiness. It is said that you know, he was so kind to people, those who are animal lovers also find him very, very favorite. Even rats lived in his room and he was so caring, rats, cats, any animals, he said they are also creatures of God. And in fact, he would feed even the rats in his room, it is said. So holy, so humble, so prayerful that he had the gifts of what is called bilocation being lifted up and miraculous light sometimes in his room. And he would humbly call himself God's broom, because that was his main work, cleaning. And he lived so, built so many hospitals, caring for the orphanage. And it is said that when he died, the nobles of the city, bishops, carried him. Dear friends, here stands a people, in a way, a saint, look back, an illegitimate son, if you want to call, recorded so by humans, but God found him worthy of his kingdom and lives eternally. Very often, I'm sure, in our life, past makes a lot of decisions in our life. Maybe family background, maybe things that happen in our life. And we think we are chained to it. We can't come out of it. And they are eternally on us. Not when we believe in Christ, who is the Savior. His cleansing, His blood, His body cleanses us eternally. And here is an example of a saint who lived so. Dear friends, let us surrender our life to the Lord. I'm sure. God can heal, God can bring miracles of our life and that happens when we believe in the saving power of Christ and it is possible and he will do it as he has done it. We surrender our life to the Lord and as we read the first reading, we may have in us the mind, the heart of Christ. Junctions, junctures when we have to make decisions, may we always think, what would my Jesus do? And that is the answer to our life. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
most merciful God, who were pleased to create in Saint Blessed Martin de Porres, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant we pray that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of our conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the marvelous confession of your saint, Martin de Porras, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure sign of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the saints and angels, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he to the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. resurrection, you have set us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Albinus, Stanislaus, Flory, William, Lambert, Lacan, Candido, Mildred, Peter, Paul, Kiki, Desari, Albert, V, Philip, Annabel, Raymond, Fabian, David, Michael, and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Martin de Porres, Saint Anthony, Saint John Bosco, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we call on God our Father, let's pray that we may have the heart, the mind of Christ, that we may always do his will and his kingdom may come in us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away all our sins, who washes clean of all our past sins, redeems us to be his child. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. God is not worthy that you should enter into him, but only say the word in my search. As we receive the Lord spiritually, sacramentally into us, let's pray that in our life, every moment, the heart, the mind of Christ may live supreme in us. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. O 
renewed our lord at the well spring of salvation we humbly entreat you that through the intercession of saint martin de porres holding more closely day by day to jesus we may merit to be coheirs in his kingdom of grace who lives and reigns forever and ever Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We turn to the Lord who is before us, that we may all live with deep within us, with His mind and heart of Christ. We remember and pray, surrender our coming retreat before the Lord. All those who will be attending the sessions, the resource persons, may it be a time of healing, may it be a time of experiencing God's power and strength. We remember Grace Hill, Virginia, Karen, who celebrate their birthdays. We pray for the good health of an eyeball, Evelyn. Remember the departed souls of Albinos, Stanislaus, Flory, William, Lambert, Lacorn, Cantidor, Mildred, Peter, Paul Kiki, Desari, Albert, me, Philip, Annabelle, Raymond, Fabian, David, and Michael, Linto. Let's also remember all other intentions that we have. Turn to the Lord in His power, in His trust, and may His mercy heal us, wash us, and make us love Him with our whole heart. Hallowed be Thy name, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Lord, grace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and to Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He is here in heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. The Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen for our sins. And sins of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and the whole world. 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 
Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. I offer you the body and the soul and divinity of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen for our sins. Let's let praise be every moment. Bless and praise be every moment. 
Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for God's care and protection. Most merciful and trying God, we come to you in our weakness. We come to you in our fear. We come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and our caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill. Protect those who are most at risk. Give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died into your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove our fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your King. Jesus. 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 Pray to the Holy Family. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. In you we contemplate the splendor of true love. To you we turn with trust. Holy Family of Jesus. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. This Mass is ended. Let's go in God's peace.